Good day, YouTube. It is the 3rd of February, 2024. This is my 1995 Honda Acti truck. It is a JDM K truck that uh, I purchased about a week and a half ago from a gentleman who imported it a few months ago. It was an interesting process for the gentleman that did the importing, and uh, he did it as kind of an experiment um, to see if there's you know money to be made um you know bringing these vehicles to the u.s and then selling them once they've arrived so uh i uh, purchased from him and the process went uh, very very well i'm very happy with my purchase and we are fixing this thing up doing a few videos on it um i my tires my new tires all five of them because i pulled the spare out and it's absolutely junk um, it will not hold air. It's completely cracked all the way around. It has a date code on it, I believe, of 8 of 01. So that is a 22 and a half year old tire. So we got five brand new ones um, in the stock size 145 70 12s. I elected not to get LT, which is a light truck tire, and bought car tires very similar to what is on my uh, electric car in exactly the same size just a different manufacturer um, in order to uh, get a better ride so i'll let you know how that pans out i was hoping to get these things mounted today but the tire store that uh i've been talking to is not open today it is saturday so uh when you're retired like me all these uh, days just kind of <laughs> Uh, kind of rolled together and uh, sorry if you guys that are still working for a living but uh, yeah Monday is fine I told them so one of the upgrades we're going to do today is you can see I have already pulled the radio out of this vehicle and uh, the new head unit that I ordered on Amazon has arrived so uh, I have run a, another speaker wire from in here to at least it's coiled up in here waiting for me to figure out how to get it uh, down the a pillar and into the door i'm going to leave that for another day we may run with just one speaker here for a few days and and we'll see when i get time to uh, get this speaker wire routed we'll get everything hooked up under the dash there and then we'll finish this up and then put the new speakers in because it's about to make a spacer Something like that, so we'll do that. Let's go in and have a look at the head unit that I bought. Um, it is uh, less than 35 bucks, so I'm sure the quality is way, way up there, but it does absolutely everything, I think. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. It is a car, MP5 player. Yep. Oh, it has a clock. Cool. It's got a remote control. In fact, I think it may have two. FM radio. MP5 capable stereo music. It's a 4.1 inch screen. All of this for 35 bucks. And it plays MP3s. has auxiliary input. FM radio, video, media, card. that has a rear view camera. 12 volt DC. Ah, yes. Wiring. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, it's model number. If you were, go to Amazon, model number 4022D is in David. Oh, the bags are fairly thick. All right. Here's the manual. It is a multi-page. No, it's not. It's one. Uh, connections. Sensor. Hmm. I don't know what all this is yet. Let's set that aside. Let's look at this. There are a couple little screws. This uh, looks like a power supply cord to me. 
This is the rear view camera. It looks like it's got lights on it as well. So it will need power. I'll bet that's what that is for. Yes, power. Okay. I have an idea about that. And these are audio cables. Lots of them. Okay. All right. Got it. Like I said, I think this has two remotes. I've had one of these before that they uh, clamp onto the steering wheel on the inside of the wheel. So you can, you know, hands-free the old remote control. This clipped on or off. Yeah, like that. There'd be a battery in here, no doubt. Probably what them little screws are for hold these together could be so there's a remote not sure if I'll use that I think there's a flat remote too that goes with this we'll find out in a minute all right there it is uh First impression, looks nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. Seen better. But it's 35 bucks. Uh, USB. Uh, not positive what that is. Turn it around. Antenna that says DVR. Hmm. We have audio and video. So yellows are videos. These should be audios, fuse, and a plug. Okay. So let's look. Here's another manual. This is an operations manual. And doesn't look too bad, I guess. General features supports a bunch of things. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't know. Will this thing play uh, videos from my phone? Like, you know, YouTube or something? Don't know. There's the other remote. Music. Movie, band, all the numbers, volume, mute, play, pause, etc. There it is. And then the two connectors. So one's going to be all your power and ground. So probably a, uh, probably a hot all the time, maintain the clock. Probably a switched, you know, for your on and uh, accessory. And uh, a ground and maybe one for illumination. Not sure, but then these should be audio. Um, so looks like we got front, rear, left, and right. Four speaker. Wow, that'd be pretty cool. And then on somebody's uh, YouTube video, I uh, got some idea that the black wire. So we're talking about the wiring in the dash of the truck. The black is the negative. The white with the blue is a 12 volt constant. And then the red with yellow is an ignition or accessory switched 12 volt. So I made notes of that. Um, I'll verify that as we get into it. So I think we need to do, um, oh, and here is the, the bracket that will hold this into the dash. I think there'd be a couple of, uh, Whoop, whoop. Little sheet metal deals to pop down here and relieve the clips so you can get this out once it's installed. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, um, let me go get started on the installation. I'll kind of sort the wiring out and then I'll bring you back and show you 
what I have found for sure and uh, how we go forward. So there's your close-up of the unit. So uh, I'm going to go get that sorted. All right, boys and girls. Um, so we have that brown connector and the uh, wiring across the top. Okay. Um, without taking all that stuff apart, I'm just using, uh, you know, spade connectors to plug into that connector. And we'll tape all those up here in a minute um, rather than cut that loose. The original radio could be reinstalled is what I'm saying. So I, let me pull these out here for a sec. So on the bottom row, on the right is the black wire. Okay, that's the ground. That's on the right, my right driver's side. In the center is the yellow wire on this particular connector and that is a hot 12 volt. Okay, that's the center of the connector bottom row. On the left side is the switched hot or the red wire in this configuration. Let me try to get a better view for you. Okay, so left to right switched hot ground okay so on the top we're hunting for one speaker wire right because there is no speaker wire going to the right side and without tearing all that apart how do I determine what's what so what I did was grabbed a 9 volt battery I put two test leads on it I connected one to another little test lead and then I'm just going to momentarily connect it to the other lead and what we're looking to do is to hear this speaker over here make some noise to know that I have the correct two on that connector so we know we have the right wires so let's disconnect my battery pretty good we'll take out my two little test leads here one-handed and then we'll plug in on this radio it's the white and the white with black are the left and then the gray and the gray with black are the right which I connected to I just happen to have also run gray and gray with black speaker wire over to the right side that I showed you earlier let me set the camera down for a second as I plug in these other two wires. I'm not going to be that concerned with positive and negative on a really low fidelity audio system such as this. 50-50 chance that they're right anyway. Okay, so with that being said, let me tape up these connectors because it should be ready to install the radio. All right, so I put that uh, support in, bend up a bunch of tabs, so she seems pretty sturdy. We taped up all the wires on that connector. Um, it is a four speaker stereo, so I taped up the rear speakers. You know, we might use them one day, but you know, there's so little room in this thing for putting speakers, so yeah, they'll probably never get used. Um, got the head unit right there, so uh, let me get those wires plugged in and we'll install it. Gotta find that antenna wire floating around in there somewhere too. Alright, found the antenna wire. We got it plugged in. I plugged in this video cable but I left it coiled up. I'm not going to put the camera on at this time. I'm going to get this rig up on the lift here one of these days. It'll be easier to run the wires underneath at that time. Um, I got both connectors plugged in so let's see about sliding this radio in. Hang on. I gotta set you down takes two hands at least for a minute right. at least for a minute what's holding things up over here Alright, 
two hands again then I guess wiggle back and forth there we go it's going in it's going in all right it went in it doesn't look too bad sitting in there let's take this obnoxious paper thing off plastic cover Oop, do you think it's coming on remember we only got one speaker and it's a doozy but uh yeah. You turn the key. Oops, don't need to go that far. All right, we're on. Oop, we got a welcome sign. Hey, we got noise. Touch screen, I don't know. Right. Without even reading the directions, we're getting it to do stuff. working okay i'm gonna fiddle with this a little bit then i'll bring back we'll close out this video but it works Ooh. all right guys i uh got the bluetooth connected yeehaw um and you know what i'm not disappointed at all in this radio it actually has very good sound quality even out the stock one speaker um very good um I, I'd even go as far as I'd recommend it. It looks great, the dash. Um, it sounds good. Um, the directions are not too good. Um, slowly figuring it out. I left the uh, one remote in the glove box, but I did mount the other one to my steering wheel. Um, and actually, this thing's going to be just fine. So we'll do a future video where we get the speakers installed. It's a beautiful day and a it's just fantastic for early February. And uh, you see that grass right there? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to mow it. Yep, I don't care how wet it is. And the neighbors are going to get their lawn mowed by me for free and all that jazz. So it's just one of those things. So, um, But I really wanted to get the radio in. I'm going to figure out how to set the clock. And then we're going to go cut some grass and so forth. We'll get the Bluetooth working, FM radio working. And uh, that's pretty good. That, somewhere down the road, we get this up on the lift. We'll run the wire um, in the back for the uh, backup camera. And uh, I'm not actually going to put it clear to the rear. I'm going to put it on the headache rack and probably tie the power into the uh, cargo light. I really want this to come on uh, just when I turn that light on. And I should be able to see what I'm doing. If that light isn't enough, we'll put a better light back here change the lamp or bulb or led or something anyway that's what we're gonna do so guys we put in a 35 dollar amazon radio i gave you the model number uh if you like it uh get you one it's a uh, it ain't bad i mean you can spend what you want but you know this the sound quality is only going to be so good in this you know fairly noisy tinny little truck so it is what it is i just needed a little bit of tunes I really wanted a clock, and the Bluetooth is pretty good too, so appreciate that. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're going to got a playlist going for this truck, so check out other videos on this truck or some other playlists for some other videos. Sit around and watch something else. Send me a comment. I'll talk to you about that in the morning because I check comments every morning. I answer to every single one of them. Appreciate a thumbs up on the way out. We'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, guys, I made a mistake. The uh, pinout is different so, than I said. So the center 
on the bottom row is power. Okay, hot all the time. On the left is switched power. Comes on with a key on and an accessory. On the right, I said that was ground. It is not. That comes on with the dash lights. So you turn the taillights or headlights on, that becomes hot. The left off side on the top row, that's the ground. And then your speaker wires are the other two. Sorry for the confusion. It was my bad. That's correct. Here we go. Thank you all.